Welcome to the MLS Review Show. The journey in Major League Soccer is full of highs and lows. On this path, golden victories are followed by staggering defeats. On the quest for glory, intense passion leads to joy and despair. On the road to the cup, when players step up, others step back. And we're only halfway there. The MLS Review Show starts now. If teams are going to succeed in this league, they need to manage the packed schedule. Four midweek matches, an international friendly, and short turnaround meant coaches would need to rely on depth to compete. And that depth would be tested for Toronto, who came into New York fresh off their neutralite Canadian championship victory, but missing many key pieces. The Red Bulls were on the mend, and it paid off just after half an hour. Thierry Henry added his ninth goal of the season, and Luke Rogers quickly put in his own tally with this sweet slicing goal. The second half was more of the same as Joel Lindpair finished off the third, then set up two more for Juan Agudelo. The Red Bulls kept a clean sheet as they went on to win 5-0. Sporting hosted the Rapids with their home unbeaten streak on the line. Kansas City's streak looked like it would come to an end when Connor Casey ripped one past Jimmy Nielsen. But June's Player of the Month cleaned up a rebound to bring the home side level as this one ended 1-1. Vancouver looked to rebound from their double loss to Toronto last week when Columbus came to town. The teams battled for 89 minutes, including a saved PK, a shot off the post, and a red card. Then, in the 90th minute, Jeff Cunningham tied the all-time leading scorer record to send the crew home with all three points. An inconsistent Chivas side needed to get a win to stay contenders in the West. So after a forgettable first half against San Jose, the Goats found their spark off the bench when Ben Zemanski scored on a swerving shot from 30 yards out. 20 minutes later, Nick Labrokov found the seam and calmly finished off the Earthquakes. Coming up on the MLS Review Show, Sporting look to stay unbeaten at home against Chivas. Hey, it's Charlie Davies with Chiefs United, and you're listening to Extra Time Radio. The Extra Time Radio podcast comes out every Monday and Thursday on iTunes and Buzzsprout. You can also listen to each episode at mlssoccer.com slash extra time. We're a soccer podcast. <laughs> and I have no friends. I like to tie my shoes. Well, well, we'll get back to some women's evening wear talk. You guys are too old. It's only for eight-year-old boys. What's wrong with that? Yeah, this is your tweet of the week. Janino's not going to win a game for you. They're a sign of the apocalypse. Th- 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 that's why he's here. Fans, we want to hear from you. You're encouraged to email Extra Time at MLSsoccer.com or tweet at Extra Time Radio with any comments, questions, or reactions. Welcome back to the MLS Review Show. Darrow faces his old team when DC travels to New York, but first Chivas is out for season opening revenge against Kansas City. The first week saw Chivas fall to Kansas City on the back of an Omar Bravo brace. The GOATs have seen drastic improvements since that meeting with Nick Labroca and Marcos Mondaini offering sharp attacking options. But Robin Frazier's side is up against an equally improved sporting side. CJ Sapong has become one of the hottest rookies. What's even more impressive is he's doing it while fighting for playing time with Teal Bunbury, Kai Kamara, and Bravo. While he still needed to break into the roster, newly acquired Sunni Saad would add even more youthful energy to an already dangerous attack. Caleb Williams and Jake Yedrich were at Livestrong Sporting Park with the battle. Well, it's Sporting Kansas City against Chivas USA live from Livestrong Sporting Park and on KCTV5. Callum Williams and Jake Yardich, your commentators for this one. As we get underway, the ball goes all the way back to the Chivas back line. Manages to play a ball in, it's steered away towards the edge, Braun over to the left-hand side. Opportunity with a slip of the back line, Braun still got the shot off. Cesar's in there as well, and Lebrocca with the cutting effort off the crossbar. 
Jimmy Nelson punching away, and Jimmy Nelson with a fantastic piece of goalkeeping there, Jake Yarvich. And he realized that he was kind of hung out to dry on that little chip over the top. Fortunately, it hits the crossbar, bounces back into play, but Jimmy Nelson also with the, with the recognition to get out and just get that ball out of danger. Ball is played in, this is Braun. And LeBrocca lurking, great chance for Chivas USA. LeBrocca! Chivas USA take the lead. It's a great ball here played in as you see the turn is made. He looks up fastest to Justin Braun. It almost is like there, he had about 10 yards of space in between him. LeBrocca just makes that diagonal run straight to the penalty spot. It's an easy one-two finish. Sporting still with the ball though. Sassano lofts it towards Omar Bravo on that left-hand side. Blunt first touch by the Mexican. Bravo, twists and turns, surely a PK. Referee gives nothing as it's cleared away by Chivas USA. Looking at Lahoud on Bravo. Bravo makes a move right. Lahoud with his left arm around the waist of Omar Bravo. Kansas City will make the four or five brick passes, but then one bad touch, and it's and it's the other team's ball. Ball in from this left-hand side, to Pong Lurkin, as is Omar Bravo. This is Myers on the right-hand side. Low drive is well saved by the goalkeeper, Kennedy, palming the ball away to the right-hand side. And he's left. Myers, great ball inside by Kamara. Super save from Kennedy once again. Sporting Kansas City only inches away from the equalizer, Jake. Fantastic header from Chance Myers right into the path of the sprinting Kai Kamara. All Kai Kamara has to do is get one touch, set himself up, and with fantastic shot far post. Now this is Diop for Sporting Kansas City. Back heel, Sassano. Bravo looking at the back, so Bravo in the header! Another top save from the goalkeeper. Great cross and a header by Omar Bravo. Kennedy, full extension. Sporting with just over two minutes remaining in stoppage time to find this equaliser. Beasler, ball forward. And the header is nodded on. Kamara's working. Bravo! Omar Bravo silences Chivas USA. Players recognize it. Try to get their head up on it. That's what you can do in this situation. Kamara up. Ball very poorly cleared right to the path of the storming Omar Bravo. And Omar Bravo, make no mistake about it, he was very frustrated with himself after the, this past Wednesday night against Colorado. Maybe should have had one or two. Makes no mistake on this one. Right over the hands of Kennedy. Flores down the left-hand side. Ball is over the top and away. And there we have the final whistle. Get the speed. What an ending to this game at Lindstrom Sporting Park. Dan Kennedy absolutely distraught. But Chivas haven't taken all three. But it's one apiece. It didn't take long for Dax McCarty and Dwayne De Rosario to face off against the teams that swapped them. Just two weeks after the trade, McCarty was out to prove that New York got the better end of the deal. Dax slipped right into the Red Bull lineup. With a healthy Luke Rogers and Thierry Henry, Hans Baca's side was riding high off of their midweek victory. DC, on the other hand, had seen yet another lead slip from their fingers. Dayro had immediately added to the United attack, but cracks in the back line were worrying to Ben Olsen. The coach needed Brandon McDonald to offer a veteran presence next to Ethan White. Steve Cangelosi and Shep Messing had all the action from Red Bull Arena. This is a real rivalry. It's not a manufactured one. So if you're Red Bull, go attack, go get the win. Miller getting involved in the offensive third. Henri and Lumpere together. Henri just slides it wide. Couldn't quite pick out Belucci now from distance. If this was a road game, you'd say this is exactly what Red Bulls should be doing. So conversely, fair play to DC United. Now slipping through Davies. Touches by Sutton. The goal wide open. And Ream saves it off the line. Well, we've seen Tim Ream do this before. And when your goalkeeper comes out, if you're a defender, put your head down and run back to the goal mouth. Well, they have attacking options off their bench, DC United. Charlie Davies often has been subbed out. Right now, foot race here. Henri gets there. Amin gets a hand to it. And Rodgers can't get there in time. Excellent agility by the big man. We talked about him before, Joe. For about 6'3 and 225, that's good quickness getting down to his left. Thierry Henry has not sat deep in the mid midfield as a playmaker, and neither Lynn Pair or Dex. The body has gotten forward. Now, Bellucci shot deflected. Rodgers running onto it. It skips by Amid, but. Checks up for him and he scoops it up. It'll be interesting to see 
if Juan Agadello comes in, who it's for, Joe, because Wolf has been quiet. Oh, but dummy through by De Rosario. Wolf returns it off the post and in. Dwayne De Rosario in his return to Red Bull Arena puts DC United up 1 0. This is a nightmare for Red Bulls. De Rosario with the step over, continued his run. He went inside Roy Miller. That's just great individual effort by Dwayne De Rosario. Started the play, continued his run, gets the goal. How many times have we seen this man do something like this in a dramatic moment? McCarty sets up the corner. And here it is. In swinger, Sutton for the header. Knocked out by Soli, and there's the final whistle. DC United holds on for a 1-0 win. Dwayne De Rosario, the only goal of the match in his return to Red Bull Arena. Coming up, Toronto looked to bounce back against Houston. Every week, MLSsoccer.com provides you the opportunity to select the goal of the week winner. You can choose between the five nominees directly on MLSsoccer.com on the AT&T Goal of the Week page. You can also send in your vote by texting the corresponding goal to code 22442. Winners are announced every Friday, so make sure you vote early and often, keeping in mind polls close at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time on Thursdays. Winners so far include Juan Agudelo of the New York Red Bulls, Javier Martina from Toronto FC, and O'Brien White of the Seattle Sounders.